good afternoon and welcome to Carrast Montenegro. Behind me here is the much bigger and much more popular old city of Kator with the cruise ship there. I was there a couple weeks ago and it was absolutely packed and I just waited an hour for a five minute bus ride. The uh, bus didn't show up which is the second time that's happened to me in the few weeks I've been in Montenegro so that was really annoying so it's about 1.30 right now. It's tempting to go in now but I'm gonna head into the old town first, work up a sweat, and then probably swim right around here later. So there's the tower, probably the clock tower, that you see on all like the postcards of Parast. Really beautiful uh, setting. Similar to Gator, but like a miniature version so far. So as has been the case for my whole time spent on the coast, shade will be the number one thing you have to find because again, it's just boiling hot. Let's see if there's anything down here. Just like that. <laughs> no people. Looks like these are just people's houses here. But what I always find interesting about these old towns is that people are still living here. They just have tourists all around them for a few months a year, I guess. And I'm pretty sure, actually one of my Airbnb hosts said Kator in the winter is just completely empty. Most things are shut down and I'm assuming it's the same for Paras too, so. It's already just the fact that it's so small. You definitely have like more time and silence to take in where you are. But so far it looks really, really small, so. This might be a short video. Maybe I can extend it with, you know, historical, uh, interesting facts. Wow, look at that old thing. It looks like they still use it. Man, looks like a Lego fire truck. The best view of any firehouse in Montenegro. The Vatrogashi. Trying their uniforms on a pulley system there. Big old olive tree with the seagull, like the cricket sounds in the background. So I'm staying like, it's like a five minute bus ride away. Like I said, I had to wait an hour just now for that bus because the one of them was broken or just didn't come. We're all sitting there waiting, but I'm staying in the nearby town of Rizan, uh, just because I wanted to stay somewhere that wasn't really touristy, somewhere different, and the prices are pretty good. So it's not much there, but it is local life. So that is quite interesting. Of course, there's beaches there, like everywhere along this coast, so you can swim, but just live in in normal Montenegro, which is interesting in itself.
So you can climb to the top up there for one euro. Like most of the coastline here, the setting is just totally amazing. Yeah, and there's islands out here. These two islands, I believe one has a church or something religious on it. Maybe, but maybe they both do. I know you can take a boat out there if you want. So, kind of your typical tourist town so far, but it is beautiful and it's worth spending a couple hours, I guess, stopping by. If you wanted to get lunch, have a beer, go for a swim, check it out. There are plenty of apartments, hotels here. If you want to stay actually in Parast. And of course, there's nearby towns you can just stay as well, probably for much cheaper. So, plenty of boat opportunities here. Taxi boat, maybe to the island. Rent, sup, kayak. And another little beach on the side of town near the parking lot. Looks rather shadeless. Actually, yeah, it goes back quite a ways. Uh, <laughs> so they got beds and everything here. Oh, it's like a beach club. Yeah. Okay, there's a whole beach over here. Wild. So that was the whole walk of the city. So each end of the city has pretty good sized beaches on it. And basically the center of town is this uh, bell tower here. And it's actually a pretty busy little place. Nothing like Kator, but still pretty busy. Sveti trees. Sveti is church. And piva is beer. Those are the two nouns I know in Serbian Croatian language. So whenever I'm in these old towns, uh, obviously they're usually quite busy and everything can just be become kind of like a blur. So I try to find a quiet area away from all that and just hang out there for a little bit. But they do a pretty good job of uh, not having any free seats around, at least in the shade. But just going to keep walking up here and check it out. Looks like I'm headed towards something too. Another church, another Sveti. There's a church 
I'm gonna sneak up in here real quick. Someone's front door. Montenegro and Cat. Hey there. Hello. Hello. You don't gotta worry about me. Hello. Okay. What's Montenegro word for cat? I'll look at your face. You could be my third noun. I've already got Sveti and Piva. Oh, oh, look at you. Hey. Hey. Okay. You can ignore me. I get it. I get you. You got a nice face. <laughs> you're ignoring me, but you're not moving, so that must mean something, right? All right, what's up here anyway, huh? What's in this direction? All right, come on, lead the way. Let's go. Come on. Hmm. Tortuga is a long ways away. I think that's the Caribbean Tortuga. Can't be sure. All right, we got this view up here. Look at these people's place. They got their little front door and porch. This little, they have an arch uh, bridge for their entrance. Well, I can't go in there, see? All right. Lucky you. <laughs> it always just amazes me. You walk like two minutes from the main road with the restaurants the ice cream the pizza and you're just completely alone it's like no one has an interest in where they're at I and mean, look at all this what is this a sleuth it looks like a sleuth for gold mining but i'm sure it's not for gold mining but let's see what that is and you come all this way all the way to Paras, Montenegro, and you just eat pizza and go for a swim and call it a day. I don't know. Okay, so there is water involved. Oh no, it's a rope. Oh, okay, so they probably pull things up and lower things down. So they don't have to do that climb the whole time. It's like a uh, Montenegrin dumbwaiter. With a great view. I think I'm right by the highway. I'm already by the highway, so <laughs> I just climbed the whole town of Paras, so it's really not very big. Yep, that's the highway. Ah. All right, there's the islands. And Rizan, where I'm staying, is just over there. Literally like a five minute bus ride. Cost one euro. You go all the way to the coast and that road will take you to Croatia. Uh, a lot of people fly into Dubrovnik and then rent cars and drive in uh, to uh, Montenegro here. All right, let's see if we can find this thing, this church here, the Sveti. Cool. Oh wow, I can go in. Okay. What sveti is this? Gospa. And the clock tower. And that's like the Beverly Hills house, I think, right there. Top of the hill with a good view. All right, let's see if we can find that spot in the shade. 
quiet part of the old town just to sit down and absorb where we are. And I found my spot. Shade, view, those are the people that paid a euro to go to the top of the tower there. And a seat, shady seat in Parast, the rarest of all accomplishments. They do a really good job down there of making sure you don't have a shady seat so that you go and buy a drink or whatever. Ah, best seat in Parast right here. Going to be here for at least 15 minutes. Just enjoy the views, relax, and take in the old town here of Parast. Watch some laundry dry, some leaves blow, some boats go, and some tourists climb up and down the tower here. There's our old friend here. Hey, you want to come up? Yeah, I think you recognize me, maybe. Kind of got a little speed in your step. Come on. <laughs> All right, and we're coming up on the swim spot on this side of town. But as far as swim spots go, like I'm staying in Rizon, they have these concrete beaches just like this where most of the locals go but if you want to be more alone you can just walk 20 minutes up the coast and you can pretty much have your own your own spot yes. yeah. So, not the best one spot there, but not bad. A little too crowded and noisy. But the water's great, and there was some shade, so that's a pretty rare thing. And now, let's see if my bus is going to work here. I'm pretty sure I get it up here. Pretty limited English so I can't be sure. So I was given bad directions again so it's actually the other side of town where the stop is so who knows if I'll make it now but I'm running to get there. So that man walking right there was sitting next to me on the bus. I just said, Rizan, Rizan, and he just looked at me and would not speak to me. So it's been an adventure socially here in Montenegro, but I did catch the bus last minute. Luckily, like super last, last second, really. But it worked out, so I am in Rizan. I'll give you a little brief tour as I walk to my apartment here. It's really pretty small, but obviously you have the water, plenty of beaches all along through here. There's one supermarket and a few restaurants, and that's basically the town along with some apartments and places to stay. And this is the town, basically. This is the main square with a restaurant that had accordion music that kept me up till 1.30 in the morning the first night I was here, but it was nice and quiet last night. And my apartment is right above the betting club. So that's me with the little the brown shutters there. 
If you look around, there's really not much, but it's just an old stone town, like a lot of these places. And this street is somewhat famous for some reason, but I walked up it, it's just a cobblestone old street. And it's just like this the whole way. But I think the cobblestone here is what makes it different. Anyway. Can you hear the baby crying? I can. And I have been hearing him crying for three days now, so... Another, uh element of the joys of travel. So I thought I'd show you what uh, 60 US dollars gets you here in Rizan in the end of July. So simple bedroom. Uh, but this place is really nice. I mean, brand new place. The owner is incredibly kind and generous. Got a just had some pasta and wine. It's like uh, three or four hours later since the last clip. I just dealt with a bunch of booking.com stuff. Was listening to Sun Ra. If you ever need to get out there, Sun Ra's your guy. Had some wine and leftover pasta and green beans and a Nixico Dark, the Tamino or Tamno. It's a pretty good one. And they have a lot of good wine here in Montenegro. You can see all the Montenegrins out there. So this is Rizan at night. This is what it's like in Montenegro in a real town. It's not a tourist town. People living their lives out here.